Here we have the foliage of two different trees, very visibly different. On the top, we have balsam fir, Abies balsamia. On the bottom, we have white spruce, Picea glauca, both in the Pinaceae, the pine family. We can see the needles of the balsam fir on top are flat, and they arise in a single plane, left and right departing the stem. We call this two-ranked. They arise in a single flat plane, whereas those of white spruce, like most or all spruces, have needles that are radially aligned. They depart the stem in all directions. They are whirled around the stem. Also, white spruce has needles that are square in cross-section. I can pull one off and I can roll it between my fingers. The foliage of balsam fir is dark lustrous green on top, and on the underside we have pairs of stomatiferous bands. These are white waxy bands that cover the stomata, the breathing pores of the leaves. White spruce, in contrast, has needles that are more continuously or consistently glaucous, at least on new foliage. You will find new foliage, the needles have this entirely blue-green hue from this glaucous waxy bloom. I walk a little further and I find red spruce, Picea rubens, which, similar to white spruce, has needles that are radially aligned and square in cross-section that can be rolled between the fingers. However, unlike white spruce, it does not have glaucous foliage. Its foliage is more consistently the color of the upper side of balsam fir. Nice, dark, lustrous green needles.